Good morning, modern steaders. Six below zero out this morning. Oh, and it's snowing again. Here, Tina, why don't you go to the bathroom? You do your thing while I start Gina's car for her. You ready to go in? Is it cold? Upstairs. Your car is running. It is cold out today. I like a thick piece of zucchini bread, yep. That looks good. Lots of butter. You want lots of butter, Livies? No. Pluto says, I'll take Olivia's butter. No. <laughs> you didn't want butter? No. Oh. Yours is cold. You want the wooden handle? I gotta get the scraper. You getting cold? I don't blame you. Oops. One trick I like to do when it's really cold out to keep the wipes right in front of the wood stove and now these are nice and warm. Those are the wipes I use to wipe Willow's udder down before I milk her. Today and tomorrow is supposed to be extremely cold. Today, right now it's six below Fahrenheit. It's supposed to be like 25 below zero with the wind chill factor. And tomorrow morning, low is supposed to be negative 14 and I think a high of 10 above, so today I want to make sure we feed the animals extra food. The goats, I'm giving them a little bit of grain. The grain helps them keep warm, and I'll give them extra hay also. So, they won't be going outside today. It's too cold for that. Were you standing on the door? Yeah, you were, weren't you? It's cold. Drink all your water. This bucket has a hole halfway up. It's not a hole in it completely. I also like to give my animals warm water. Huh, you like the warm water on these cold mornings? I bet you do. It's like a hot cup of coffee, huh? Come on, Willow, in here. Nope. A 
while these towels are nice and warm. Roll our should like this. Does that feel good? I'm not quite sure how much snow we got yesterday. It was so windy. All the snow on the roofs got blown off and blowing snow all over the place. We had to get at least a foot and a half anyways. I'll go walk around. We'll go for a little walk about later and we'll see some of the spots. I hope if any of you got hit with the snowstorm, you made out all right. It was pretty much a full day yesterday of plowing and shoveling. Uh, we'll put out some extra bedding today. There, you can have some extra bedding. Help you stay warm. They've been staying under here quite a bit, so I'll throw some more down here for them. There. Is there anything good in there, Buttercup? Finding some seed heads. All right, girls, stay warm. You ready to go out? <laughs> I know it's cold, but you still want to go out, don't you? how tall those snow banks are. Uh, we got some snow. Ooh. Uh. I wonder if they laid any eggs being so cold. Actually, I think I see three. Come on in, girls. Come on in, Moose. These rubber pans are a lifesaver when it's this cold. One of the things that's hard is when it's always... Moose, I'm trying to talk. One of the things that's hard is when it's always frozen, you can't clean nothing. The chicken coop, you can't clean it till spring. What do we have? Yeah, it's the three eggs. The wood, the wood shavings are working out really well. I'm gonna step over the fence. In the nesting boxes, they're not taking it out. When we had the straw in there, they were pecking through it. I think they were looking for leftover seeds on the straw. So they're pecking through it and taking it out of the nesting boxes. I think we'll be using the wood shavings from now on. Your feet cold? I know, but you won't keep booties on. We've tried putting booties on you. To the house. What do you think of the new puppy? You still don't know what to think yet, huh? There, Figaro. Figaro's keeping his distance from Tanner. One of the eggs is frozen. Let's see what it looks like inside. Almost looks like a... Come out! Ah. 
that cracked the eggshell. It looks like a transparent, hard-boiled egg. Oh, that's funny. No, but don't bounce. It's like a slush. I'll give that to Pluto. I'm thinking the chickens in the greenhouse are gonna love this bucket. It should help keep them warm today. Nope. Oh yeah, they're in heaven. I cleaned up over here. In the video we had out on Saturday, I was cleaning up the homestead, getting it ready for all the snow. Right there was down to bare ground. And then over here was down to bare ground. No snow. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to that video right here. And look how much snow there is now. Everything was down to ground level. I can't get over how much snow filled back in. Good boy. Good boy. And I think this is your favorite ingredient for the day, Olivia. Is this your favorite one? Yes. Before we forget, Olivia, we should spray the pan. Olivia's got the day off of school today, so she wanted to make some brownies, huh? Mm -hmm. I need a third of a cup of our butter. We gotta save the other third for later. I was thinking Tanner was being quiet. He's probably getting into trouble, but he's actually being a good little boy. Huh, huh, he being a good little boy? Fogging up the camera. Ready? I'm gonna pour this in and you can stir that up. Oh, it smells like brownies. It smells like brownies already? Stir, I'm going to add in sugar. Ready? Get that nice and smooth. Your favorite part. 
Hopefully we just don't lose the shell in here. Right. No, I don't. It won't be too hard to get a shell in here. These two guys on this side and Figaro over here. Figaro still doesn't know what to think of Tanner. He did. You want the spatula? Yeah. What a good boy. Being a good boy? Yeah. Camera hog already? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did you do this? Yes. You're putting them two together? Yes. Bruno was already there, so I put Tanner up there. And oh my goodness. He started going to and stuff, so I gave him his toy. Yes. All we need is Figaro lying right here now. Oh, you think Figaro would lie right there? No, he wouldn't. Now we're going to make some whipped cream. We took advantage of the cold weather and the snow. I got my... Bowl and whip sitting out here. The colder it is, the better. It's about two degrees below zero right now, so this will be perfect. It's supposed to be cold. The colder it is, the better whip you get. We even got snow on the bottom. Alright, All right, we need one cup of whipping cream. Do one splash of vanilla extract and then some powdered sugar. I think it's ready. Want to try some? Now what happens if we got to mix it again? <laughs> so we don't need to mix it, it's good? Yeah. Awesome. Is that going to go good on top of the brownies? That gave us about two and a half cups of whipped cream. Look at these two bonding. He snuggled right in.
What's Pluto doing? Huh? What's Pluto doing? You getting cold feet? They both did. They both need cookies. I go carry you upstairs. I go carry you upstairs. Hannah. Tonight for dinner, we're gonna roast a pork loin with veggies. The other day, Gina made a corn chowder, and we froze the leftover onions for making that. If you want to see that video? I'll put a link to that right here. I'm gonna chop up three stalks of celery. If you've never had roasted celery before, you need to try it. I really like it. Put that in our pan. Into a bag of frozen Brussels sprouts. Take some avocado oil. You can use avocado oil or olive oil. I just like the flavor of avocado oil. It's really healthy for you. I'm a texture guy, so I don't eat avocados myself. So I try to use the oil so I can get that healthy fat in my diet. Our diets. Coat everything with the oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of Pink Himalayan salt. Pink Himalayan salt won't supply you with the iodine you need, but it has other nutritional benefits. Don't tell Gina. I'm using her garlic press, and I'm gonna mince up some garlic. One, I think two large cloves should be good. Then I'm going to bake the veggies in a 400 degree preheated oven for about 40 minutes. I'm going to make a dry rub to go on our pork loin. need one tablespoon onion powder, a tablespoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of salt, And then four cloves of garlic. Mint. I got a pork loin from one of the pigs that we raised and butchered here last fall. I'm just gonna coat the rub all over it on all sides. These two are gonna be best buds before they know it. Ah, huh, Pluto. She's like, I don't know about that. Take my pork loin and put the fat side up. That way when it's cooking, all that fat that renders will get dripped down into the meat and give everything more flavor. Boy, that looks so good.
got Brussels sprouts, but don't fill up too much because me and Libby's made brownies too. Yeah, this looks so good. It smells delicious. <laughs> Girls, ready for these brownies? Yes. That means you gotta put Tanner down. Oh, never mind. Oh no, you can't have any whipped cream. Yes. thank all the subscribers as of me sitting down and editing this video we just reached 60,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel that is such a huge milestone for us so thank you if you're not already subscribed to the channel now is a great time to subscribe Udo and Tanner are getting along awesome right now Tanner's not imprinting on Pluto which is a good thing meaning that Tanner doesn't think that Pluto is her mother he's more looking at us, me, Olivia, and Gina as that role, which has been really good, and he's bonding with each one of us, which is even better. That's what our goal is. We don't want him to just be one person's dog. We want him to be a family dog. So when we're all outside, each of us throughout the day are outside, and he's outside with us. And with Pluto, that he won't just listen to one of us. He'll listen to all of us, which is going really good. We're really excited to have him with us, and he's just been an awesome fit for the family. And I think Pluto... Oh, I shouldn't say I think. I know Pluto is getting more snacks and treats or cookies than she ever has. Every time that Tana goes outside and goes to the bathroom, not only does Tana get a cookie, but Pluto does too. So that's probably one other reason why Pluto is really loving Tana right now. <laughs> well, thanks guys for coming along on our journey with us. You guys truly are a blessing to our family. I hope one way or another we're able to bless your family. So we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.